Tia Kiumi on the 13th tourney. It ended at the weekend on Sunday. It was all a football, football, football. Young talent everywhere. Uh, talking about those guys, you saw Adi Channel's International Kids Cup. They were on fire again. Emmanuel Primary School from Ikiti State <laughs> won this one. <laughs> yeah. It shows you a bit of consistency, you know. Yeah. Uh, they did really well at the Channel's Kids Cup, and uh, they've come here, and they've also done uh, a spectacularly good one for them. And uh, for me, the most important thing from this uh, tourney is the bad fact that they are actually really young boys. You know, they are yeah. really, they are really young kids. Them. So, you know, and this is, this is how you start. This is how you start from the grassroots. So that I, I believe that not long from now, we'll begin to see some of these players represent Nigeria in the Under-17 World Cup, or, you know, at the Under-17 World Cup and the Under-20. So now you begin to grow a, data, a database. You begin to know the yeah. history of these boys. You know, it's, it's not like you just see somebody pop up or uh, we talk about MRI, people feel MRI and all whatnot. But these ones, you know, Embarrassed. you know their history settles, and everything. Yeah, it settles all yeah. the argument is 20. Yeah, because you have because you've been, you've been watching you him. You don't from, have to rely on when he was in secondary school. Yeah, no, those young lads. So it's, and, it's, a, and, it's a very loud initiative. Yeah, yeah, it's but, just a reminder of the schools that were invited for this one. We have LGA Central School from Kwara State, of course, Emmanuel Agrican, Aglican Nursery and Primary School from Ikiti State. Baptist Government Secondary School from Ocean State, of course, Explanty Primary School, Lagos State, and Agbogo. Lagamo Military Cantonment <laughs> Primary School from Bruno, that's the IDP kit, and also the Eco Future Stars. But then we're thinking the Eco Football Future Stars will be the one that will win the song. But somehow, with what the money had right there in the teams, they got the better one and they won this one. They went home with lots and lots and lots of prizes. And that's the penalty issue that, and just the joy that comes from watching these kids play, the celebration, the happiness that comes with it is really awesome. <laughs> Very, very. I mean, in the natural state, uh, nobody is thinking about the cameras like like their older colleagues. I mean, it's just <laughs> the emotions is raw. When they cry, they cry big. <laughs> when they laugh, you know, it's it's all there. And uh, this guy, these guys, and their parents and their guardians, the teachers and everybody, I'm very sure will be grateful to uh, the organizers uh, of this competition uh, and by extension, the channels. Uh, uh, channels uh, TV uh, for giving them the platform uh, to express themselves, giving them an opportunity uh, to do this. I mean, we're already jotting down names. Yeah. We already know, you know, so if somebody just comes out later, we know uh, where they came from. So uh, <coughs> it's, it's interesting to note, and um, we're happy for this. Uh, football, everybody can agree that football is winning. Football is winning. And, you know, uh, there are no uh, issues about that. We can all agree. Let's listen to uh, Shia Kiyomi. Uh, the NFF first vice president, uh, the organizer of this event, what he had to say uh, about uh, the reason behind all of this and what the future holds. I feel that it's, it's, uh, it's so important, I really can't express it in words. You know, just looking at these kids and see where they've come from and see the joy in their face, in their faces, tells you everything. And the potential that we have here. All you need to do is look around, look at the number of people, the quality of people, and look at the kids, look at their faces, and then look at the quality of football. That tells you everything. And we have had people sponsor, um, you know, almost moved me to tears, the amount of money people are, are actually willing to cough out for, this, for these children. Oh, I think channels, you know, I can't say in, thank you enough. You know, without them, I, I really don't know, we, we can't have this. Two things. One, they made it very easy for me to choose the, play, the teams to play, because they were just an easy thing to say, look, the Challenge Kids Cup uh, semi-finalists because of the quality of Challenge Kids Cup. So, you know, uh, and, you know, everything else, Austin, you yourself, you've been, you've been fantastic. Uh, the GM is here from beginning, and he's still here. I mean, the, um, the chairman has sent his message, you know, saying, you know, he's away. I, I, really just, I really just can't say enough thank you. I am really elated, and I know that goes for the management of channels. That was started as a vision of our chairman, has now come into fruition. Uh, the little acorn has grown. 
And uh, the outcome of what we're seeing right now started 10 years ago as an invitational tournament. Now it has grown. The vision is basically to catch under 13 years of age and then encourage them to stay in school and encourage them to grow because school pays. Talent pays, but school pays more. Uh, so, in the near, so when they grow up to be uh, 20, 21, they'll be able to manage themselves and also contribute to the growth of the country. So we are really elated. Uh, a few years ago, the uh, Lagos State Football Association supported us by collaborating with us. And, and so today, the, the first initiative of uh, Sheyi Akumi Charity Foundation has come on stage. So we are growing and we are happy and we are happy to be part of all the, 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 the team, the companies, individuals that have supported us in the past.